Okay, here we go again. So, in the last tutorial video, I created the title plot, but we might need the share parameter to create for the title plot and load into the project and associate the share parameter and the project parameter. Let's find out here. Okay, just click over this, the edit family. Okay, there. So we don't need this, and uh, we 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 won't need that. It has stamp time and the behind. So and the sheet off and that to the number of sheet and the current number of the sheet here. We are going to create the param uh, the parameter. Then the drawing number is already there. Current revision not really applicable in the previous one. So uh, we're going to delete it. Okay. So. I are going to create the shape parameter in the new one so just going to create the lever here okay the first one okay date I are going to deliver date so we do not have the date only the date here date time and stamp so we don't need it just add the parameter click over this we don't have the share parameter we need to create a new share parameter here then select over this not loading and we don't have the outside anything we were going to create a new parameter here then create it and here the share parameter parameter that one saved by the task task format then save it then you can create the group naming then the group naming for the title block just click over this then create a new parameter what else we want is we just want the date only the date and no length just a task okay click over this then another one that revision just new one is like revision just like that then not length just a task click ok then anything else then to the, the, the number of sheet out or the, to the uh, uh, current number the sheet of the total number so we are going to create it the current sheet number current sheet number that one might be the task uh, integer or whatever you want to change just I put it a test that that uh, can be using a test and numbering click OK current sheet number then create number to the, to the number of sheet that one is quite useful this is a parameter you can you you can you can apply it in another project or whatever you wanted to okay anything else okay we will put it here just this full one first then i will choose a date and go in here and the date here look over this okay so the chat drone that is already used by our default parameter that is the current revision the revision number then go into the label and then click over this we will choose we don't have we didn't apply, uh, put it here yet so we go into the slab parameter this is a revision number and click ok then apply it in here just type a okay this number you will be using a b c d e f g but you kind of put it here another one is current number here then I'm going to create it the number here we don't have here yet we need this parameter the current sheet number just okay click ok put it right here like 0 1 okay that's 0 1 I might need the between over here Just the center. I need this. Another one will be 
here so that will be from the parameter that to the number of sheet just click ok put it right here that's a 100 click ok so we were choosing the alignment it will be the center so we don't even know how many number of digit here you can array within those uh, the total line okay the project reference number so you can type in here at the test uh, for example is my okay the test I was choosing the 3m put it here okay, like 0, 5, 6, 9, 1, 0, 2, 3, 4 is like at the slash and the D E uh, five nine seven and slash slash two three eight oh whatever that the project reference number got it from the government so that four point five is too much put it here three mm so that's a test numbering so the project idea will be uh, we using the test. So the rest here is already applying the parameter. We will put it just save into the current existing file, then load and close the project into here. Don't forget to write over overwrite existing version and a parameter value. Just click over this. Look over here. That's gone. It's another one is gone. You just click over this. He will be question mark. He cannot select it to uh Added ever the reason is that the parameter uh, did not associate into the project parameter that's the reason you cannot type in here this is a drone by is already associated into the project parameter that's a reason you can edit ever whatever you wanted to like that is a drawing number is already associated whatever you wanted to type in here that is already associated okay let's find out I will explain to you now be careful to see this care to see this okay and look over here the sheet number is is not editable don't worry i will go into the manage it's a very important part look over here is manage going to the project parameter and the shape parameter look at over here this is a title block and i put it here in the project I, that the block is a blank here so the reason that is not work here here so going to the shape parameter in here the current revision is this one the current sheet number is the top side okay I will make it smaller I hope you understand those and the current revision number is will be here and the total number of sheet it will be the behind and the day and it will be here and the revision will be in here so we were going to associate with the project this the shape parameter we will associate into the project parameter what you might need to do is you just go back just close it go into the project parameter here you are going to add the shape parameter into the project then you will add it ever then add it you see that this is a project parameter then you can click over this shape parameter then you slide it you have to load into the here you just slide it that's the title of the shape parameter here the current sheet number so we need for the sheet and just click ok the current sheet number instant okay here that's a category what category are you, you using for definitely the title block and it's not that the block we will say that sheet you look for the sheet this that only able to edit the touch in here then the rest you are not seeing those number or those name and those number or anything so just click ok the current number is already there so how about another one is applying to the sheet uh, apply to the share parameter select on the share parameter and select over this another one to the number of sheet just click ok what category you are you going to uh, using for sheet 
that how I uh, how you understand for uh, playing around the shear parameter and the pressure parameter we are going to use for this just click OK then the two another one what else just go date what category are you going to use for the sheet click just OK then go in another one the shear parameter and select the revision what category sheet just click OK then look at this you see that a little bit you can type it 0 1 and you can type it in 100 just like that and here the date the date was what date you wanted to today uh, today date is like okay for example it's like 30 is like the September August 2023 and that revision number A you remember that before we are not added even for those right then we apply the sharp parameter into the project parameter so that is associated within the shade and the project parameter then it's done so then you how are you go, how we uh, play between the shade and the project parameter so I hope you guys understand this video please like and subscribe for more tutorial, tutorial video please allow me to upload the more tutorial video and then support me um, thumbs up and the subscribe see you next video bye bye